Hey everybody, today's lesson is gonna be on how to embed a video into your WordPress site. We're currently using a WP Bakery um, backend builder in WordPress. So we've already logged into WordPress, you'll see here, this is called our dashboard. And we're gonna go down to the page that we want to edit and put the videos onto. So we go to our pages and let's find this particular uh, client, they're really awesome. They have a dog park out towards Tampa. They're called Motel 6. But they have a media page, so let's take a look at their back end of the media page. Give it a second to load. And once it's loaded, you'll see we have these video players back here. So we actually have an empty spot right here that we can go ahead and add a new video to. So let's click the plus sign. Up in our search box, let's just put in YouTube and it'll come up with a video player option. And then you'll see here, it gives you a demo of where, where to put your content. So let's go over to the Motel 6 videos on their YouTube page. And if we go to, let's see, videos. So this is one of their videos. And we'll click the share button and we can copy out this link and simply paste it into the video link section, click save changes and update. Make sure, make sure, make sure you always update the page, otherwise you won't save your changes. And we can go to view page to check our video. Loading, 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 it's thinking, give it a second. you'll see right here, we put this video up. Now, there is one other way that we can put videos in, so let's take a look at that. Um, some of the sites are set up in a different way for videos, so depending on what your site needs, let's delete this one out. So sometimes we do um, a code section, and it's called raw HTML, so we add that in. And let's delete out the text they put in. Now, back over on YouTube again, once we hit, let me just show you again, once we hit share, we can go to this embed and copy this whole code out and paste that code in. Oops. Hit save changes and again, update the page and we'll get the same sort of video player um, showing in that section. So some people have it set up with the video player, some have it set up with the raw HTML code. Whichever way your site is set up, utilize that same system so you're being consistent and we'll see that it's loaded that in. Bam, but see now it's got a different dimension because the embed player um, puts in different dimensions of what your site should have. So you can change them, but really if you're embedding the same way, you're have, gonna have the consistency of the sizing. Um, and I just wanna show you one more thing. Let's say all of your sections are filled up and you need to add some more videos this really cute little copy button right here. We'll copy your entire row down below and you can change one video. You can add additional videos with your video player plugin. So that's just another way to keep adding to the videos if you need to add some more rows. Have questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. Talk to you later, bye.